uh, folks, we are back live once again, so hopefully you can hear my sultry tones now. Uh, this is Captain Jams again. We're going to get started for our show match here in just about two minutes as soon as we let our viewers trickle back in. So thank everyone uh, for joining us. No yes, it should be fun. Looking forward to it. TBT, the best matchup. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, you know it is. TBT, what I, could be better? We could just. I yeah, totally yeah, agree. Just, I love TBT. <laughs> we we could troll everyone and just pick tank positioning maps. Like we just do crossfire four <laughs> times in a row. No. Do the original so Zelda jungle, jungle, the... jungle basin, man. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. dear God, let's not do that. Yeah, T I'm all right at TBT, I suppose. I think right now versus Zerg, Zerg is a nightmare for me. I just I can't deal with it. It scares me too much. But I'm completely okay. with you on that one. I'm good against Zerg. Really? What do you what do you open? Hellions. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the word. Blue flame or just uh, yeah. reactor expand? Oh, okay. But both. It's good. Do you go mech after that or do you try to do like marine tank? Mm, it depends what they do. I see. All right. Okay, so I believe that we are started. I believe that we are ready to go. Are our combatants ready? Yeah, nervous, ready. Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Good. All right, well, we're going to get things started, guys. So game number one beginning here on Shakura's Plateau. And the countdown has begun. So are we going to let them stay on Skype or now. what? That's... No, that, that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we will rejoin uh, Total Biscuit Leia once the matches have completed. So good luck. Have fun, guys. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, they chef. <laughs> I will be very disappointed if we don't see Battle Cruisers at least once today. And let's see here. Looks like they have left. There we go. Oh, no. If, if there's no sort of a Battle Cruiser rush, then all of my expectations are gone and out the window, and I am disappointed. Yeah. Well, you know, I keep hearing about the BCs from Total Biscuit, you know, from his Twitter and stuff like that, and, and I, I just want to see it in action. I want to see it before my eyes. And here we go. So, uh, Doe, I believe you have something in store for us for the introduction, so take it away. Uh, sure, I'll give it a try. You're in the red, in the, no, no, in the orange trunks up in the upper right part of the map. It is none other than Total Biscuit, and <laughs> down in the lower left part of the map, it is our red Terran player, none other than Spin. <laughs> I don't know how well I did. I don't know. No, I appreciate Just it. That's, that's as like, good as I could do, so I like well, that. I tried. Here we are. So, yes, the one and only Total Biscuit <laughs> versus Leia Jackson. Here we are. Um, and we are going to begin on Shakur Splatoon. This is going to be a TVT best of five loser picks format for charity. You heard their charities before. That's what we're going to be supporting today. So, all for a good cause. Yes, absolutely. I mean, there's uh, actually, you know, when you think about these show matches that are for charity, it's, it's so great because you're getting together, you're playing some StarCraft 2, it's so much fun to watch, and in the end, you know, you're helping people, so it just doesn't get any better than that. Bam! And uh, so lucky to be involved in esports at this uh, stage of the game. I can, you know I can speak for myself when I say that I am absolutely grateful to wake up and have my day job be StarCraft 2 or talking about StarCraft 2, so uh, yeah. to be able to be in a position where we can put on these sorts of events and just help raise money for charity is fantastic. So, looks like Total Biscuit is going to scout the correct position right away. Both players uh, saving up now, presumably for gas. There we go. If uh, Total Biscuit is going to battle Cruiser Rush, he will certainly need that. But Leia going ahead and holding off that for the time being. Yeah, she might do the uh, good old one racks expand. I mean, on a map like that, there's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, if Total Biscuit does decide to get pretty aggressive, she could learn to uh, regret that choice. But I don't know. I mean, I kind of I, I have this weird, like, spider sense tingling that I feel like Total Biscuit is going to get Banshees. I don't know why, but I just, like, feel it. All right. Well, intuition and ESP being the caster uh, techniques of choice there for Doa, but we're gonna go. We have a call for Banshees. Let's see. Uh, although I do like what Total Biscuit is doing as far as his building positioning goes. There's there's a lot of people who just don't care where they put down buildings, and you need to give yourself incremental advantages to be people that are close to you in skill. And every time you can do something, well, letting an SUV go into your base is certainly not giving yourself an incremental advantage, but... Well, you know. uh, yeah. Ugh. But, you know, what just you do? making yeah. sure those buildings have decent positioning is never a bad thing, and I wish more people would have a little bit more care when they, uh, when they place their buildings. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're a Terran play player later in the game, if you don't have good building positioning earlier, um, if you get to the point where you're on three or four bases and you need all those other production buildings, suddenly you're like, I don't have room for this, I can't fit an add-on in here, and you're like flying buildings around and trying to find room to put them down, it just gets really irritating. 
And let's see, there is that one Rex Fast Expand coming up for Leah now, so yeah. no terrible surprise there. Um, I, I would really like her to go to this build that I've actually been seeing out of players like Druby recently. Druby has used this um, in the in a lot of big tournaments recently where he goes the one Rex Fast Expand into four Rex and just pumps ridiculous numbers of Marines, lets them hold off any sort of early aggression and makes a very powerful timing attack if your opponent is gearing up for some sort of very, very uh, aggressive, say, start port tech or something along those lines uh-huh yeah i'm curious to see just how much she's going to play like druby actually i heard she's been trained personally by druby so we'll have to see if any of his tendencies kind of show up in her play and uh total biscuit scans and sees that she's indeed going for that four barracks which is a pretty good defense it keeps you pretty safe against banshees and things like that you don't get stim very early or any tech very early but uh i don't know it's just, just really solid and for someone who likes marines like me i, I love this type of opening and unfortunately, uh, Mr. Biscuit was supply block, so we tried to go for a very, very early tank there. Uh, that is unfortunately unsuccessful. The tank is supply no. blocked. It'll come out in about a year and a half. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a long way to walk like a really early tank rush across the map, so I don't know. An early tank with siege mode like that is a sure sign of paranoia sometimes, so I'm wondering if TB might be a little bit nervous at this point. Although, look at this APM, man. I know. It's APM, it's so high. <laughs> it is. That is. That is wow. clearly not effective APM and mostly spam. No, not at all. But it's, it's so high. <laughs> it is. It's through the roof. It's just so high. It's approaching nine thousand. That's, that's right. Cat pajamas. What does the scouter say about his APM? <laughs> it's over nine thousand. We have, let's see now, Leah's going ahead. Has she dropped down any gas? Yeah, there we go. Double gas now, so she will eventually transition out of this. Now, if she's really taking Druby's advice, this is that moment when Druby just sends 16 Marines out of his opponent's base and kills them outright, of which there's, well, Total Biscuit has a couple of bunkers down now, and he does have yeah. siege mode, so he should turn that tank around, so he is going to be defended. So unfortunately, this timing attack is not going to come quick enough to do any sort of early damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd, I would completely agree. I'd, I'd kind of like to see uh, Leah go for like a really early combat shields. Well, not really early, but combat shields for us. Oh, but she's going with Stim anyway, so never mind. Forget about it. <laughs> no, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, if she's gonna, if she's not going for that early timing attack, I mean, now's the time to start investing in tech because she has conceded uh, the huge tech advantage over to Total Biscuit. Scan goes down, does see the factory up with the tech lab producing units. So uh, Total Biscuit is going to be obviously significantly behind on economy. He doesn't have the sheer quantity of units that Leah has out, but he does have the better defensive position and better uh, tech at this point. So without that early positioning or without that early disruption of tech, from Leah. I'm curious to see how this Druby style build is going to work because it will leave her pretty weak to tech as we move into the yeah. game. Well, you know what's really interesting is uh, Total Biscuit was scouting just now and he tried to get up into the base, but he didn't even get far enough to see the expansion. So, I mean, he can maybe make an assumption that she's expanded, but he honestly has uh, no idea. Mm -hmm. And his command center is actually going to be pretty late. Um, Leah can't really attack right now. I mean, if she attacks him right now, she's just going to lose everything. So hopefully she doesn't, but she does have some good control in the middle of the map. Yes, and it looks like we do have a factory coming up for Leah as well. So she could pretty easily go into some drop play here, just throw down the reactor in the starport next, which I think is going to be pretty effective move right now. Total Biscuit is very committed to this defensive position at the front, and if she even just sends a drop around the back, that's going to do ludicrous amounts of economic damage. Yep, she got a little bit supply block. She's making three supply depots right now. But she does have two engineering bays, getting those upgrades going really fast. And like you said, I think we're probably going to see a reactor go down on that factory. And then a quick starport after that to get those, uh, you know, um, reactor and medevacs getting pumped out. And TB's going to see all these marines right before his marine dies. That is quite the interesting strategy to just move, you know, like a ton of marines onto the middle of the map. I'd be a little bit worried, though, about tanks kind of rolling up behind the uh, high ground, behind the trees, that is, mm -hmm. and then uh, using, like, a Viking or something to get vision and kind of take out a lot of marines before she maybe really even knew what was happening. It was weird. Leah just did a scan there down to the bottom right-hand corner of oh. the main to scan for tech and for an expansion. Didn't see either, so I <laughs> wonder how that's going to influence her decision if she assumes that Total Biscuit is gearing up for some sort of an all-in or what the case will be. And indeed, we do have the Cloak Banshees now coming out for Total Biscuit. Interesting uh. to note, Leah actually had a reactor building for a while on her factory and then canceled it. I'm not quite sure why at the moment. Oh. She is rebuilding that now, but uh, mm. hopefully we'll be clued into that decision pretty soon. Supply is in Leah's advantage, but again, Total Biscuit does have quite the tech advantage at the moment. 
Yeah, could have been a misclick, I suppose. It is easy to do that every once in a while. You know, you select something and then you're like, oh, I have to escape to do something else, and you accidentally cancel your add on or whatever, your, or your upgrade. I always hate it when that happens. Yeah. I don't know. I you know what the worst misclick ever, though, is? Oh? It's when you're playing Zerg and you're playing with Grid because the uh, Morph Baneling button oh. is like the same. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, that? yes. The same button as Explode Baneling, and you accidentally select. You know, something with your banelings and explode them all. Yes, I recall range during the IPL qualifiers yeah. doing just that and losing about, oh, 25 banelings. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was fun. But anyway, let's see here. I'm sorry, that was actually, I, I, I completely take that back. I said range. I'm apparently uh, smoking yeah. something very strong. That's... I did indeed mean Zelnik, but uh, who knows, whatever. Okay. Anyway, so we have a Banshee out for Old Total Biscuit here at 12 o'clock, but there's a good number of Marines coming up, and this Death Squad uh -oh. of Tanks oh, is no. ready. Oh... Yeah, that was a close one. Actually, she got away not too bad. She didn't lose too many Marines to that. But, yeah, if she had walked, you know, like an inch farther on the screen, she would have lost probably, you know, a good half a dozen or more Marines. And, yes, actually, she was thankful she didn't... And that she was clicking herself up the ramp and not to hug the corners or anything like that to stay out of range of the plateau. Yeah. Unfortunately... Uh, Total Biscuits Banshees have been spotted. Leah did take pretty ridiculous map control with all of those Marines, so she should be prepared for this. I um, don't. There's a there's a Hellion in the middle of Leah's base, just randomly killing SCVs in her main. It's actually killed quite a few, it looks like. It has indeed, and the Marines are going to clear uh, that up using a stim at the last minute. For what reason, uh, I'm not sure, but that's okay. We do know. have Total Biscuit killing a lot. And I do mean a lot of SCVs, though, with these Banshees. This is actually pretty significant economic damage. At the same time, yeah. Total Biscuit's smartly going to his third. Yeah, I mean, uh, Total Biscuit just looks in great shape. Those SCVs are not really noticing that their buddies are exploding. They're like, oh, what was that? It's like, oh, my SCV suit cuts off my peripheral vision, so I don't notice my friend exploding on the patch next to me. <laughs> but she should be able to chase these Banshees away with the Marines. But I don't know, I mean... Mass Marine oh, against no. standard for the tank composition. That was a huge stim. That was a huge stim. That's bye-bye yeah, yeah. energy on the medevacs. But uh, let's actually take uh, take count here now. Total Biscuit has, what, six, 16 kills between those two Banshees. They've certainly paid for themselves wow. in spades. Uh, Leah was doing work at the 12 o'clock position on this destructible rocks with one Marine. Actually took it down about 800 points of health. And then was unceremoniously killed by another Banshee. Well, you know that happens. Sometimes you draw the short star and you just get sent out to shoot at a pile of rocks for no reason, and then a plane comes along and kills you. So, you know, what can you do? That's life as a Marine. That kind of sums it all up right there. <laughs> and then a plane yeah. comes along and kills you. We can yeah. apply that to almost every facet of our daily lives. That's true. Just add, and a plane comes along and kills you at the very end. <laughs> and here comes Leah. Now she's going to make her way across the map. A uh, pretty good number of Marines here. These Marines, let's see, they're on 1-1 one, one upgrades going to plus 2. They have all the combat shields and stim and everything you could possibly want. But Total Biscuit, because he's done so much damage with these Banshees, has seen uh -oh. no reason to do anything but just expand. Oh, a couple of Ooh. Vikings. And the Vikings do spot the Banshees, and if... She controls them. They should be able to take them out. Oh, but two Banshees coming in for Total Biscuit as well. And the one Banshee letting his friend die. That was sad. But luckily, because he didn't participate, he gets to leave. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, uh, yes, that Viking does turn home. Let's see, another expansion coming up for Lee at the same time. But she has fallen behind in total bases oh. now. And, uh-oh, all these air the units Marines. fly over the Marines. Is, he gonna, is she going to scan? No. No. Nope. Got one Banshee. Yep. So. Valuable. Yeah. All right. Dropships coming in for uh, Lee in the back of Total Biscuit's base right now. And uh, this could potentially do a little bit of damage as long as she doesn't run south a little bit and run into the siege tank range. We'll see. Catches a Viking just as it comes out. This isn't doing too bad at all. Oh, and she is in the siege tank range now, so she has to watch Oops. out for that. Bunch of Marines coming back for Total Biscuit now. Uh, unfortunately, those don't have combat shield quite yet, so that's a lot of death and destruction being rained down upon them. That does supply cap Total Biscuit, and he is, of course, it wouldn't be a Total Biscuit match without a fusion core coming up. All right, I knew he wouldn't disappoint me. I knew we would get to see some battle cruisers. Look at that. Look at the interesting supply depot positioning that Total Biscuit has. Going up in his base right now, he's putting down, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven supply depots, and a couple SCVs extra just to kind of oversee the uh, construction, so that's that's good. Well, battle to get supply block, do you? No, of course. Battle cruisers require so much supply, you, you, you can't. Might as well just make them all now, you know? Bingo. You've got 1,600 minerals, just make all the supply depots at once, save yourself the time later. And here we go. So, Leah is gathering her forces in the middle. Unfortunately, she is now down in supply. Oh, these, this Banshee... 
Here at the top left-hand corner, uh, raining down damage. This command center is not going to have a chance to come back up. Unfortunately, this Viking... Oh, we're just going to get in. We need to see a cloak. Ugh, nope. Total Biscuit doesn't cloak, but that's okay. Yeah, he's got two Vikings on the ground shooting at the command center now, so how is Leah going to respond to this? All right, the Viking does take off because two Vikings against one Viking are like, hey, why are we just sitting on the ground? Do, do, do you see this wall of supply depots kind of hanging out in the middle of the map? Yeah, it's just, it's not really walling anything off particularly. It's just kind of, uh... It's cute. I don't know. It's, it's like cute. he's making like a little, uh, like a little sort of cobblestone bridge for his marines to walk on. Yeah, and it looks nice like... aesthetic choice. <laughs> and Lee's going to take this moment to go ahead and move up. All these tanks were oh. unseized, but they are sieged now. And believe it or not, this is actually focusing everything through a choke. And these siege oh, tanks are pretty that. darn effective. <laughs> they still will go down to all of Leah's forces. But nonetheless, that was a fair bit of death. Yeah, I mean, those Marines are really clumped up. That was his that was his plan all along, to try to funnel those Marines through there. Uh, looks like Leah does still have enough Marines. Oh, a medevac getting taken out with a bunch of Marines in it. And um, the first battle cruiser is out, but, you know, I don't think it's going to be enough. But here come all the other Marines, and he might just be able to clean this up now. And that is indeed a biscuit cruiser, and it looks like it's down to 60 points of health, but it's being repaired almost dead! It goes down! The biscuit cruiser dies! There's just a few more units left for both players now. Leia has a ridiculous number of medevacs hanging over, only healing up about two forces. We'll need to retreat eventually. Yeah. Yep, that mass medevac style only really works if you've got marines underneath them. Mm. There is a marine inside one of them, but, you know, unless they really need to do something where marines can, like, hang out the side of medevacs and shoot at things while they're flying, that would be awesome. Right? <laughs> that would be... Upgrade. I could, I could already hear the trolls now, like, ah! <laughs> Tear it open! Tear it open! Here we go, let's see. Leah accidentally rallied all of her units to a medevac, thus picking them up. So, that's, okay. that's alright. She unloads them now, has a few bio forces to go along with mass medevac builds, the mass medevac uh, timing attack that she has going. <laughs> OMG, these medevacs, Lerofkulsak, Floss. You're Scandinavian by heritage, you should know what that means. Yeah, that's right. Um, I am not too... Uh, I, I need to brush up, but I think that meant I'm about to crush face with these Marines because I've got one medevac for each of them. Uh, yes! that That is 15 medevacs, and now, unfortunately, only three Marines. Not going to be uh, enough. She'll actually have to run away with these medevacs. There we go. Okay, only one medevac goes down. She's going to pull back to a few units. Let's actually take a look at the unit station. She has 23 Marines to her 14 medevacs. Looks like most of those Marines are still across the map for map control purposes, not really gathered up in the same place. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like Leah could do some drops to sort of try to get her back into the action again. I mean, Total Biscuit's just so far ahead, though, right now, that in terms of just economy and having map presence and everything like that. And look at this. Dare I uh, say he may be putting up a defensive planetary right there? Uh, it better be. If, if not, I will certainly yell at him. Let's it's, see, though. There's there's, there's yeah. now... Well, I'm sorry. I was about to say two Biscuit Cruisers out there are indeed three Biscuit Cruisers. Total Biscuit runs up with a lot oh. of his Marines, though, and unfortunately under the medevac fire, those are going to go down very quickly. There's enough Vikings here as well that the Biscuit Cruisers are being forced back, and yeah. Leah may be able to move in pretty effectively here. Yep, the medevacs DPSing the depletion in their uh, Marines' life bars as fast as they can, but it's really the Vikings... That are, that are the key units in this composition, and the SCVs underneath, are they repairing no, that battle No, they're not cruiser? repairing. No, they're not. No, no they're, they're just kind of watching. Yes, they're not set to repair. They're observing all three of the Biscuit oh. Cruisers disappearing. Well, you know why they're there. They're going to, like, catch pieces of the battle cruiser that fall down and then use those to build more battle cruisers. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's foolproof, I tell you! It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Total Biscuit, he's, he's a genius. I mean, Nada's going to lose the title genius, Taren. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're seeing it right in front of us. It's a total Biscuit. And let's yep. see. Uh, now there are a trillion CCs up for Total Biscuit. He has another orbital inside of his natural. He has the Manor Command Center, as someone in chat pointed out, uh, in the middle of the map. He also has another CC under his third. None of those are planetaries or orbitals yet. Curious to see what he ends up doing with those. Uh, and we still have the continued air dominance at the moment of Leah. She is reproducing her Vikings as quickly as possible, proving to be very effective against those battlecruisers thus far. Yeah, and I saw someone in chat disagree with my sp statement that medevacs were DPSing. If you ask me, what else do medevacs do besides DPS the emptiness in units' life bars? <laughs> Damn, there you go. A valid point. And That's, true. That's what they do. 
What do we have? So both sides gearing. Okay, nope, that is a planetary now appearing at both <laughs> positions underneath the second and the third. Oh, Leah drops in with a lot of Marines, though, into the main. Uh -oh. She's going to go right after the Biscuit Cruiser production facilities. No. That would be heartbreaking. Yeah, um, running past, she's going to catch a couple of the SCVs just standing around the depleted refinery. Um, this drop is going to give her a lot of information about the buildings and everything, but I don't know. I mean, look at that. It's like uh, Total Biscuit just has supply depots up there like an American Gladiator's obstacle course or something like that. That is amazing, actually. Yeah. That's, whoa. That, there's like there's those couple of key tanks, and the Marines would have to, <laughs> oh, my God, American it's, Gladiator's FTW. So let's see here. Double Planetary yeah. Fortress over at the third. That's a sound decision. We've got another planetary sitting out in the middle of the map. Uh, there is another orbital over at the natural, though. That's provide Well, it would be providing mules if he was using the energy from it. Hopefully that will yeah, happen possibly. in a bit. Both players have been at three bases now for the past um, 78 minutes. So we'll right. see if either of them decides to expand soon. That's 78 blizzard minutes, which is approximately like 2.43 Earth seconds. Yes, that is a matter of fact. Allowing for the curvature of, you know, the... <laughs> difference between, I don't know. Well, I'm assuming going, you're not in the Southern Hemisphere, of course. But That's anyway, right, yeah. yeah. That's where, actually, the medevac rays twirl backwards. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, looks like Leah's going to make her way down to the 3 o'clock position. Their Total Biscuit is attempting to put down yet another base. There's enough Vikings here. But unfortunately, this Orbital Command's going to die. No chance of repairing that. Biscuit Cruisers will not be sent in at time. And the Orbital Command does go down. Yeah, I, I have to say, I do maybe question the uh, the decision to get multiple defensive planetaries before your fourth base, but I don't know. I mean, uh, it's 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 hard for me to say. Who can really discern what the mind of Total what, Biscuit is thinking right now? What's you know? the question? Is it a great decision or the greatest decision? Because that's the only question in my mind, really. Yeah. I don't know. And here we go. Three Biscuit Cruisers uh, <laughs> sitting over the planetary in the middle of the base. Both players, let's see, looks like intent on establishing another command center somewhere. Leah is up in supply at this moment. She has gone to two, three upgrades for her bio. Ooh, going to be a little bit aggressive with the Vikings. Does manage to pick off a Raven there. Hmm. And, I mean, she does have the high ground against the Vikings, a total biscuit, and that battle cruiser is going to probably get taken out, maybe. Oh, but the Marines oh. might take out a couple of Vikings. And the Siege Tank's actually doing a pretty good job at holding everything at bay at the moment. Believe it or not, that yeah. point defense drone may have been what was required to save that. Um, I, I'm, you know what? This this mule is just here to repair, if it ever repairs, but I'm going to call it a mannered mule nonetheless. And Leah's yeah. forced to retreat. He's mannering his own forces just because, I don't know, he, he just doesn't want to let any of Marines or anything uh, get out of line. He's like, you know what? You didn't perform badly in that battle. Or, good, manner mule. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that again. But, you know, I gotta say, Leah is taking bases in uh, a little bit better order than Total Biscuit. She's mm -hmm. already working on that upper left base, and if she can get that up and uh, keep it safe, she's going to do just fine. Look at this. Tons more barracks going down right in the uh, sort of the middle of her side of the map. Yes, so her production is going to be pretty good because as of yet, she's only been working off of those four racks this entire time. And I would have figured with just a few, I, I would have figured she would have tried to throw some marauders into this as well to break those tank lines. But now she's just worried about the yeah. mass marines to go ahead and counter the uh, battlecruisers present on the field. But we have a little bit of a standoff going on here. Looks like Leah's going to try and break this with a big drop heading through the 12 o'clock. Yeah, not a bad idea, but the uh, many, many, many extra barracks that Total Biscuit has are going to scout it, so she's actually going to stop and actually try to kill all these barracks. Ooh. And uh, Total Biscuit's only making one Marine out of each of them, but she might get a couple. She just tried to run into the Planetary Fortress oh. and the Siege Tanks as well. Her entire ground force was turned back, but um, looks like Total Biscuit is going to be forced to restim his units up to the top here to clean up this drop, which has actually done quite a significant bit of damage. Hmm. And uh, Leah might be able to actually take out these Marines from Total Biscuit because they were already weakened. She's got more medevacs. And, uh, yeah, really easily handing that group of Marines. And all these extra barracks may go down, but the planetary, it's the two planetaries, excuse me, is going to uh, make sure that the attack isn't terribly successful. And for everyone in chat as well, this is just for charity, for entertainment purposes, so I hope you all yeah. are enjoying this. Of course, we have the few random people that are like, clearly these players aren't grandmasters. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're the best.
Uh, let's see here. How many Vikings out? That is 21 so Vikings. Are. That's standard. Yeah. Um, looks Absolutely. like Total Biscuit has managed to expand to the bottom right-hand corner. He does have a planetary down there as well, so it should remain relatively defended, especially against the non-siege tank army composition that Leah has out. Oh, ah, good. She's adding another four Vikings there. Leah Jackson's like, my Vikings will blot out the sun. <laughs> <laughs> we will fight in the shade! And here it comes now. The Vikings flying over doing nothing. They were providing vision, I suppose, to the siege tank yeah. she doesn't have. But uh, unfortunately, the Marines are going to be cleared up. Total Biscuit does so, hold. I think she's got enough Vikings now. I'm pretty sure. So I, mm. I'd like to see her mm. switch it up and start making some Banshees. You know, I mean, that would be perfect to guess what Total Biscuit has right now. Let's take a look here. Let's see. She has uh, units tab 22 Vikings and 13 Medivac. So if we wow. talk about supply <laughs> difference, it's pretty much entirely in that Air Force. So Total Biscuit may have just as powerful of a ground attack. Uh-oh! Three Biscuit cruisers coming across the 11 o'clock position. They were going to move oh, in, boy. but they decide not to. They're going to move back and try and take out this drop first. Oh, Yamato Cannon! Uh, <laughs> Yamato's two medevacs. I love it. That's absolutely one of the coolest things I've ever seen. These Marines are going to be able to get one battle cruiser, maybe. No, oh, good micro! Micro! He got it! Wow. Nice job. Oh, but the Vikings uh -oh. come up. Yeah, yeah. Can't really micro against those. And the last Yamato shot does not get off, but you know, hey, those three battle cruisers took out two medevacs, so... That is as fair of a trade as I have ever seen. <laughs> and, oh, look here. at this. Total Biscuit going to move through now and clear up some of Leah's supply for her, potentially oh, doing nice. her a service. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. But he does manage to kill quite a few medevacs there. He's going to continue to press across the middle with the siege tank force as well. Yeah, that's the thing, is that it's looked for so long, like, Leah's had such a huge army, but the majority of that was Vikings and medevacs. So when it comes down to it, she doesn't have a whole lot. Total Biscuit moving in, though, but not really sieging up his tanks. Yeah, and unfortunately, oh, he has actually caught up in upgrades now. He was significantly behind Leah there for a little while, and he is doing a nice job with these siege tanks in the back. Wow. They are actually taking quite a few kills, 20, 38, 46 kills between those four siege tanks that are sitting in the, the back. The of Total Biscuit, though, all the Vikings have landed. <laughs> oh, no! They are starting to clear up some of the space taken up by supply depots. They'll uh, provide more room for the uh, units for Total Biscuit to walk in very soon. And looks like Total Biscuit is going to... Uh, is, I'm sorry, he's going to lose vast majority of his production. As a matter of fact, where is he building ancillary barracks at? He's down in his fourth, but that's not going to be enough. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think so. I mean, it's... Uh, i got to say, this has been a, a crazy TVT, and this is only game one, man. It's, it's insane. And to those asking, yes, this is going to be available in VOD form on this Justin oh, yeah. TV channel and multiple YouTube channels. Have no worries. So... Looks like Leah does clean up the tank attack force. Total Biscuit going to siege himself up with his hero tanks that are remaining, but Ooh. Leah moves in and takes them out. Yeah, uh, she's just got so many Marines, so she can kind of keep on top of things. I mean, Total Biscuit has put another planetary, though, a little while ago at that 4 o'clock base, so he's, you know, continuing continuing to expand, maybe not as rapidly as he should. That's pretty much his only mining base right now. But what I'm really worried about is the fact that those Vikings are still killing buildings in his main. Yes, um, yeah, uh, a disgusting amount of buildings is, I think, what I'm trying to say there. That's uh, yeah. that's pretty much everything. Those are the most hero-landed Vikings I have ever seen, and they are actually doing yeah. work on some of those Marines, but unfortunately, uh -oh. too many Marines being brought in, they're going to clean up the rest of those units. Yep, and uh, really taking them off is kind of like uh, saying the Marines can just kind of shoot at them like Duck Hunt, you know? <laughs> Basically. With the, complete like with the little dog up. coming up from the... Uh, from the bottom and laughing at you. Yeah, Total Biscuit yells, pull, and the Vikings just take off really slowly and just gets to shoot at him. And let's see here. Why did I not have on that? So now everyone has a name panel, which should certainly help as well. Thankfully, no one calling me on that. But here we go. Leah stims her units up. She scans. Doesn't see much. Killing quite a few units. She's going to try and attack this planetary in the middle of the map head on. Planetary already has 8 kills, 13 kills, 16 kills, but it looks like it is going to go down. Yeah, the Ibex cannon is not enough to save that building, so uh, one defensive planetary down, only, like, three to go. Yes, there's two at this non-mining oh, base go. here, and she is going to attack directly yep. into those. There's two of those. Uh, yep. Not really doing any damage to Total Biscuit by killing these, but, you know, it is sort of an affront to his moral sensibilities to lose buildings like that. Very true, I agree with that. I concur. 
And it looks like Total Biscuit is just producing as many Marines as he possibly can. He has ceased production of Biscuit Cruisers, despite the fact that he has a Fusion Corps remaining. He just doesn't yeah. have a starport. Right. He doesn't really have many resources either. I mean, everything is mined out. I've never seen so many refineries mined out on a map before. That's the really amazing part, is he's lost nearly all of them. I mean, he's down to one base. He's got like a million SCVs at that one last base. So yes. I think it's just a matter of time, really, at this point, until uh, Leah makes enough units to kind of come in and crush the rest of his forces. So, uh, you need to work on your counting. That's only 50 what? SCVs. That's not a million. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're, is, is that really 50 SCVs? It is really oh, 50 gosh, SCVs. It is. <laughs> wow. All right. And unfortunately, Leah's rally point was bad off her barracks in the middle of the map for a while, so she's got some rogue oh, Look at this, though. In the lower right is a command center with 13 hit points. And look at that. TB saves it. 13 hit points left Clutch. on the command center being Clutch, built. Clutch, I tell you. <laughs> that could turn the game around right there. And here we go. So Total Biscuit is... Let's actually take a look at where their supply is. 111 to 138. What's the worker count? But Leah's up by 20 workers, which means their army supply is actually surprisingly similar. Wow. And Total Biscuit yeah. has a base over at the 12 o'clock, so we could drop down some meals there as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, Total Biscuit's trying to come back. He's doing as much as he can. Looks like Leah's moving one of her orbital commands over to that kind of uh, base that's off to the lower right of the top left area. Oh, I don't know what base you would actually, call that. Actually, exactly. yeah, there, she's moving two orbital commands down, so taking oh. both of those pocket bases. Oh, yeah. And she pocket was, bases. That's a good way to describe them. I, I forget where I heard that from. I may have to credit Pain User for that. I'm not sure. but oh, I like it. I nonetheless, like it. here we have, uh, looks like Total Biscuit has realized that his orbital commands were accumulating some energy. He decided to drop some mules down over at the 12 o'clock position. Uh oh, <laughs> speaking of a drop, lower right. Oh, no! The command center goes Bye. down. Yep, you know, he saved it, but it just wasn't enough. Leah coming in to finish the job that that one Marine started by himself. It took about five minutes to get to that point. And Look at this, another drop. Where, where? Oh, there it is! Total Biscuits uh, drop! Gotcha! Yeah. He's doing a little bit of damage there. Cleaned off a few Marines. Unfortunately, he gets cleared up. And do I've got to say, this What's entire up? match has had a smile. On, I've had a smile on my face the entire time. This has just been a fun oh, yeah. game. You know, you just don't see a level of StarCraft 2 played like this very often. It's, uh, it's a treat. It really is. It is, and it is all for charity for those of you who are tuning in right now because this has been going on for 42 minutes thus far. This is <laughs> wow. just game one of this best of five set. A loser oh, picks man. format decided to start on Shakura's Plateau. Clearly, we need to just have ridiculously large macro maps. Yeah, let's go to Terminus after this one, I'm, I'm telling you. Ooh, All Terminus right, so, and uh, I, have to do, I do have to point out the upper right pocket base for Total Biscuit looks like he was doing some experiments trying to connect supply depots to reactors, but it didn't quite work out. <laughs> and the reactors, unfortunately, have not come back up. That would have been clever, though. Yeah. I would have been yeah. fantastic if we would have discovered something completely off the wall like that in this game. Like double the supply of it by yeah. building an extra reactor or something? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Leah's going to make a huge doom drop over at the 12 o'clock. Coming up now, she has a lot of medevacs loaded up and just a yeah. lot of medevacs in general. And she'll be able to heal up all these forces. Poor base. That's going to go down. Uh-oh. TB, in the meantime, going after the pocket base. I love that statement. Taking the orbital command out almost instantaneously. It is, how many Marines is it right now? 64 to 83 with Total Biscuit in the, uh, actually behind, not in the lead. And Leah dropping into the main. Yeah, so two bases have gone down. The only mining base now for Leah is down at the bottom left, that pocket. But unfortunately, she hasn't taken advantage of that quite yet. Total Biscuit stims up one more time. He's going to take out all these production structures in the middle of the map as Leah comes down here. And she's going to take out the Fusion Core. You can't kill oh, the no. Fusion Core. We needed that for battle cruisers. My question is, how many times do you think that Total Biscuit is going to stim this group of Marines to get through the base? He's already stimmed them at twice, least like once. eight. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing. They'll be red by the end, it's true. And here we yep. go, Total Biscuit is in the red now because Leah is taking out all of the supply depots. Very wow. effective job at that, but Leah loses her last remaining mining base, whereas Total Biscuit's still mining down at the bottom right-hand corner and now putting up a bunch of supply depots. Yeah, I mean, if it comes down to base trade, though, which it looks like it might, I and, you know, why not at the 45-minute mark almost, um, I gotta give the advantage to uh, Leah. She's got so many medevacs, she can keep those Marines healed for a long time. 
certainly, but she has a lot of exposed Marines here inside of her maid. Oh. Is she going to be able to chew through all these? A Total Biscuit? I don't oh, think either player is looking at this battle, actually. There we go. Now Total Biscuit does go ahead and stim up. He's going to lose to this group. However, yep. that puts him down at 84 supply. Any GG's! Wow, it only took 45 minutes, but that is the end of game one.